Daybreak is all local all morning long, and every Saturday we highlight a local company together with our partners at Indiana Grown. So this morning we have John Jamerson here with Legacy Taste of the Garden. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You drove from near Evansville. Where are you guys located? We're in Lyle Station, Indiana. And you have a rich history here in Indiana. Yes. Fill me in a little bit. Well, uh, Lyle Station is one of the last remaining African-American settlements in Indiana. Uh, it, along with my father-in-law, are featured in the Smithsonian African American Museum of History and Culture. Uh, Lyle Station for being one of the last remaining uh, settlements and mm -hmm. my father-in-law for being one of the last remaining African American farmers who still farm and family own land that they own pre-Civil War. It is amazing, pre-Civil War. Uh, we're looking at some of the video right now. Tell us a bit about your farm there. Well, uh, with our farm there, we, uh, we, we grow produce that we have here on stage. Uh, we, uh, uh, my father-in-law, he's a, a farmer. He, he grows uh, what we call row crops. Mm -hmm. uh, he has over 300 acres that he still farms. He's 84. Wow. Uh, and so he's still farming. Uh, and with uh, my son, he just graduated from Tennessee State University in agricultural business, he wanted to get back into uh, doing produce and bringing it to the uh, inner cities. We're from here, mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact. Yeah, uh, you said you grew up in Indianapolis. Yes, and so um, um, we we wanted to bring food back to the inner city, to where there was food deserts and things of that nature. Uh, that's been part of our history uh, since we lived here and before we moved down to Lyle Station. And so we work with a lot of the local community farmers, uh, with the stores and stuff, uh, him by her uh, school, mm -hmm. we we do we work with them. We work with uh, Flanner House and Cleo's Bodega. We work with uh, uh, a lot of the local farmers, Elephant Gardens. I believe that they've been on here. Yes, um, a lot and, of these names are yeah, familiar to us yeah. here. So you make sure that uh, the produce and what you guys are making gets up here to Indianapolis and yes. helps educate and get more people uh, knowing about healthy foods. Why right. is that so important to do, especially in these food desert areas? Well, COVID was, was a prime thing. It, it pointed out the issues of lack of nutrition. And lack of nutrition comes from lack of good food. 95% of, of the illnesses that we have today is directly food related. Uh, due to the either poor nutrition or not eating uh, proper things. And so when we introduce, reintroduce natural food that is grown naturally, grown properly, it begins to put back into the digestive system the things that people need to be able to boost their immune system. Really quickly before we go, how can people get their hands on some of your fresh produce? Go to uh, Legacy Taste of the Garden. Uh, at uh, gmail.com you can email us there or you can go to just legacy taste of the garden dot com we're also on fa facebook legacy taste of the garden john thank you so much we appreciate it we'll chat much more next hour uh you have a lot a big story to tell so we yes. appreciate your time thank you